Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Many of you know that Charity, my oldest daughter, is expecting a baby any day now. And the other day, we decided we're gonna take her out. So Charity and I went out for a girls' night out. We just did some shopping and walking the stores, looking for some bargains and things like that. And we found some really good bargains. So I put together a haul video here. Charity may or may not film her haul. She has just been so tired and exhausted. Gotta love the end of pregnancy. So she may or may not film that. So you may see that on her channel. That'll be the other part of this video. If not, this is what I got and I'll show you everything that we picked up. It is quite the load, I have to say, but we had so much fun. So our local library was having a library book sale, and because they were kids' books, they were 50 cents a piece. So Charity found this one, Frozen Assets. You guys may remember this from a long time ago when I used to do batch freezer meals. This one is the light and easy cookbook. I usually use the regular one, but it's, again, the same format. I just love these books. These are awesome for freezer meals. I just love the recipes. So when she found that, she picked that one up and says, Mom, you have to get that one. And the kids, we found these guys for the kids to read in school. So I was really happy with those. And then flies. My kids love bugs. And I just went, you know, this is a one that I look like I would like to read to Daniel and Lillian and probably Hannah too. Hannah's all into the bugs and things like that. So I picked that one up. The older kids have been reading this one. This one is for Mary. And then Charity found the Darling Book for Girls and the Dangerous Book for Boys. And I have seen these around on the homeschool sites, but I've never had them. And Charity said, you should get these. I've seen them at the library and they're really good. They're really popular. We also have the smaller one we got, but <laughs> one of the girls absconded with that. So I don't have that here. My kids love the gin... My kids love facts and strange books like that. And so this one, I know they hadn't seen before and they have already read most of it. And it's just funny facts and things that, well, my kids just love that type of stuff. This one is for Peter to read for part of his school. He loves spy stuff and things like that. And I thought oh, that looked just right up his alley. We are in the process of teaching Daniel how to read and he loves Curious George. So when I I saw that for 50 cents I picked that up and then I forgot about these this is this is what happens when you introduce books to your kids but then you forget about them but they don't charity said do you remember these books the grapes of math and I said I don't remember well she found these there's six in the series and they're just funny ways to remember math and my Littler kids have been all over these since I brought them home. So I'm glad Charity remembered and had that recommendation. I got this book for Hannah, which she has been absolutely loving it. She just loves animals right now. And this has nice thick pages too, so it's not easily ripped. I have not read it to her, but every day I've come in here in my room because I've been waiting to film this video and she has this book and she's just looking at all the pictures and loving it. So that was her book. And then these two books are birthday presents for Daniel because he loves sticker books. And then lastly, I picked up The Remarkable Women of the Bible by Elizabeth George. I have read many of her books, absolutely love them. And I hadn't read this one. So I went ahead and picked that up for 50 cents. So all those books, plus the books that Charity has, if she gets that video done, cost me $18.50. It's unbelievable. When you go to these book sales, you can get so much great content for so inexpensive. And the kids love, I mean, I came home and the rest of the night they were just devouring these books. And they've been devouring these books every day. So for me, $18.50 is a really cheap way to educate my kids. And then when I'm done with them, if we don't like them or the kids just don't really enjoy them that much, I can pass them on. After we hit the book sale, then we headed over to Kohl's and I haven't had much success with Kohl's recently. And so I really haven't been shopping there, but Charity had noticed that their clearance was marked down an additional 50%. And she said, let's go and just see what we can find. So these bins here were after the markdowns came to $4.99 a piece. My plan for these guys is to use them at our rental property. They were normally 
$24.99 and I got them for $4.99. So $4.99 a piece there. And then Lydia has foot has been growing like a weed. She needed new shoes and we found these marked down. They were normally $49.99. Really nice shoes. Really love them. And they cost me $8.74 after all my deals and discounts. Charity spotted this game. We love games. The kids love playing games like this. This was normally $39.99. And after all my coupons and discounts, I paid $9.35. This was normally $34.99. And after it was all said and done, it was $6.69. Some shoes for Miss Hannah. I'll probably be using these for Easter. Normally $29.99, and I paid $3.81. I thought that was a really good price for those. And then this is a gift for Grace. She absolutely loves ice skating, although this year's been too warm to ice skate. We have like open water everywhere. It's just been a really warm winter. Um, these were normally $6.99, and I ended up paying $1.79 for these guys. So those are ice, for those who don't know, these are ice skate blade covers to help protect our ice skates, and I know she's gonna love that. And then lastly, this, <laughs> This is a face covering gator. Now I use the gators actually under my um, jackets in the winter time just to give that extra protection on my neck. I don't really use it as a face covering, but it was this on the front said $2.49, but when I turned it over, it was $1.49 and after clearance it came to 62 cents. So that came to right around $32 for all of those things. And most of those items are gifts or using them for our rental property. I was really happy to find those because sometimes when you need something and you're looking for it, you can't find it. So why not pick it up at a discount price and just hold on to it for a bit. I'll put it in my gift stash for the birthdays later this season. Next, we made a quick stop at Michael's and they had these shirts marked down for $3. And I know that I had needed those last year, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I had a $5 off coupon, so I ended up picking up another watercolor a paintbrush because this was one size that I didn't have. Okay, lastly, I went to Joanne's Fabric. Lillian loves her blanket and her blanket that she has, she calls it affectionately her baba, has developed giant holes in it. You guys know how those blankets are. They are so well loved that they just wear right out. So I said to her, would you like to pick out a new one or would you like to sew one? And she said, I would like to sew one. So I took her to Joanne's and we picked out some fabric. I'll show you what she picked out. She fell in love with this leopard baba fabric so she got this and this for the back of her blanket and the leopard was all of this was marked down so for one and seven eighths yard it was six dollars and 94 cents and then for just the regular fleece solid color for another one and seven eighths yard was 936 so you can see that difference and these are both on sale um, but she was really excited we have we have to sew them together but she was waiting for me to do this video so she could sew these together but that's what she wanted for her baba and then we noticed that all of their clearance was also marked down 50% off the already clearance price so this print here, this we got two and a third yard. Now I bought the entire bolt and by getting the entire bolt, not only did I get it for the sale price, that last third of a bolt I got for an additional 75% off. So this here came to $8.32. This is three yard, three and a quarter yards and that came to $12.15. And then this apple print came to, this is three yards of apple, $9.53. So the plan for these fabrics here are the girls want to make either skirts or dresses for themselves. So we didn't have a pattern, but we, you know, I estimated how much it would probably be for skirts for all the girls. So that should be coming shortly. They'll have these sewn up and hopefully I can get a video of that for you guys. So all of the Joann's fabric here, came to $46.30, which worked out to be 
$3.75 a yard. So that's everything. Charity and I had a great time going out together. We had lots of fun looking at all the wrecks, just taking our time and browsing and looking for good deals. And I think we did pretty well. Let me know what you think in the comments. How'd we do? Do you think we got some good deals? What goodies have you found at some of your stores for after Christmas clearance? I'd love to hear your bargains. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. As always, thanks for being here. We are on baby watch right now, so content's gonna be a little slim, but pretty soon we're gonna have a grandbaby and we are so excited. So I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you next time. Bye.